Hey everybody, Attorney Tom here. Today's video, we have some more ridiculous TikToks for you. Before we begin, let me just remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. It really means a lot to me. But other than that, let's just jump straight into it. Constitution free zone, the 100 mile border. A judge that had ruled that there is a 100 air mile boundary from the border all the way around the United States. The 100 mile border zone is the area around the United States. It's the boundary with Mexico and it also includes the northern boundary with Canada. What? Okay, so this is just simply not true. Yes, there is a 100 mile zone, a 100 mile border zone. However, it is totally inaccurate to say that it is a constitution free zone. There is given some deference in this 100 mile zone with respect to some issues, primarily around the Fourth Amendment, because it is treated as a border. But it is totally irresponsible, totally wrong to say that it is a constitution free zone. That's misinformation. Next TikTok. Come with me and you'll be in a world of OSHA violations. Yeah, totally OSHA violations. And the soundtrack is hilarious to that. So stay safe, everybody. When you do a job, do it safely. Your, your employer can't force you to do something unsafe. That is unsafe. <laughs> What he's doing is illegal, by the way. I mean, there's probably a whole range of criminal liabilities and civil liabil liabilities in there. For one, it's battery, right? You're putting something harmful in somebody's body on purpose. You're making offensive contact on purpose without, you know, with the intent to put it in there. <laughs> Battery from a civil perspective. I'm, after all, a personal injury lawyer, so that's just generally how I think. But yeah, this video doesn't get a like. That's illegal. Look at where you are. <laughs> Look at where Alright, so if you watch my channel, you know we don't get political. I like this video because one, it's hilarious. I don't care what side you're on. This is a great use of that sound. A plus TikTok, very funny, very creative. Watch Hamilton too, I did, uh, and it was amazing. So 99% of aviation injuries happen in planes like this with amateur pilots. It is, I will never fly on a plane like this. And they're just not well kept. I mean, look at this. The guy's brake fell off. Side note, I looked at the comments of this video. It said that the guy landed safely, which is probably why he could upload this video. And what ended up happening was he couldn't make a left-hand turn. So every time he needed to turn left, he just had to turn 270 degrees. Glad he's okay. Very scary. Personal injury lawsuit waiting to happen. Maybe a products liability case or just a negligence case by the manufacturer or the maintenance crew for that airplane. Maybe it's that guy and it was totally his fault. Who knows? Yeah. What? what am I going to tell you right now? Your feet off the dash, honey. Why? I love you. <laughs> oh my god. 
know what you're like to get blown off in an accident. This is absolutely true. And actually this video was an inspiration for me to make a TikTok video that got over 2 million views in the first 24 hours. Do not put your feet up on the dash. It is a disaster waiting to happen. In fact, right here or there, I'm gonna overlay some crash footage of cars, of, of crash dummies getting into accidents with their feet on the dash. Easy way to break femurs, easy way just to destroy your legs, cause catastrophic damages. Just, just don't do it. Put your feet off the dash. do not collide without extreme recklessness and negligence of the parties involved that was ridiculous again 99% of accidents happen in these type of planes amateur planes not by professional pilots who fly just just ridiculous how do two pilots let themselves get that close to each other especially when you have skydivers hanging out your window or just at all in fact side note Comments from this video from the poster said everybody was okay, including the pilots of the plane. Very, very lucky. Next TikTok. Oh my gosh. And he's... terrible that that happened but after the explosion occurred he pulled back on the the forklift he didn't just jump out like i would think a normal person would do it's sad yeah the work again your workplace needs to provide reasonably safe equipment i don't know what happened i don't know why that happened but i'm going to use this tiktok as a good transition for this totally self-serving plug look at this result we just got last Friday, my vlog is coming out either today or tomorrow and we're gonna talk about it. So any sort of catastrophic injury, I'll kick ass for you. Side plug, let's keep going. My mother always told me, it's better to be hated for who you are than loved for who you're not. But my question would be, what do I do when I hate the person that I am? That's me, I'm a lawyer which means I have no social life, and I pretty much work every day until about uh, two to three in the morning. My whole life has seemed so scripted, you know, go to school, go to college, graduate, hopefully, get a job, and then work. Work some more, work, and then work until you die. And it made me wonder, is this all life has to offer? I mean, there has to be more things worth doing than life besides work. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I have a great job and it's great pay, but I hate it. So I quit. But then it hit me. Wait, I uh, don't have a job anymore. That was deep. But let me just debunk a couple of things. One, I don't work till two or three in the morning every day. I actually love sleep. I need sleep. I generally go to bed early relatively maybe around midnight i probably work i don't know maybe 12 hours a day i mean i but you have to understand i own my own law firm so i live breathe and sleep my own law firm because nobody's gonna help me but myself it's 9 45 right now and i have a goal in my mind to make a video every single day so i consider this as work as well because you know after all i'm building my attorney tom brand which actually i don't consider part of my law firm but you get the point i'm always working also fun facts about me i eat out every single meal everybody makes fun of me for it breakfast lunch and dinner i am incapable of making food for myself so that part wouldn't be an issue but yeah that cut deep this is an emotional lawyer video um hey i just have a question oh
So I actually made a duet of this video on TikTok. A couple things you should know. One, the filmer was filming the video because she was going in to ask how many tick how many likes on TikTok for a raise when she found that, or at least that's what she said. Also, a boss should never sleep with an employee. The boss has too much power over that situation where the employee might feel pressure to do that. It's totally inappropriate. You have the right to a safe work environment. So that is totally out of line on the boss's part. And I've seen it happen both ways in the real world where it's a female boss and a male employee and a male boss and a female employee, even if it's quote unquote consensual, totally out of place, inappropriate, there's just too much pressure involved in that situation for it to be okay. Next TikTok. Ooh. As a U.S. citizen, you should know your rights, and nothing is more important than the Third Amendment. If soldiers are trying to quarter in your home, be it war or be it peace, you can make them leave. Without your consent, they cannot quarter in your home. <laughs> the Third Amendment doesn't get any love, never talked about, very, very narrow, hardly applies at all in today's world. Actually, we had a Third Amendment scare a couple months ago. I actually made a video about it. I'm going to post the thumbnail right there. But it didn't even apply uh, here. It wouldn't apply. This is a private citizen in his own house, it looks like. But A plus TikTok, Third Amendment doesn't get any love. Hilarious. That's what I always do, and they never catch me. Ain't nobody going to catch me. Because you're too streetwise? Yup. And all these hoes laughing like something funny. So, if you get served with divorce papers and you go and max out the credit card just for the purpose of, quote unquote, deciding to max out my husband's credit card at Valentino today after being served divorce papers, and you guys probably can't read the, um, the scribble or the comments, but... They say something to the effect was, oh yeah, here it is. This comment right here, which seems blurry. It says, my husband served me divorce papers today after being with him for 10 years. And this is what I did to retaliate. Can you relate? So even though I don't blame him and I understand emotions run high, this was intentionally done with the intention to retaliate. And I don't know what state this couple's in, but that could very well be held against you and any money you spent could be recouped in the divorce settlement. Just food for thought. One of my students and he's uh, handcuffed. Turn around and show me that you're handcuffed. He's handcuffed with high oh, handcuffs crazy. and I want to watch, I want you to watch how he gets out of it. Oh my. I have absolutely <sighs> never seen anything like this. <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, that kid can get out of handcuffs. Okay, just just hear me out for a second. If uh, conjoined twins, like someone, they share a body and they have two heads and they had a job, like they worked at a grocery store, would they get paid as one person or two people? And another, a follow-up question, would they be taxed as one person or two people? This is important information and it's extraordinarily pressing that I find out as soon as possible. Okay, very interesting legal hypothetical. I'm 90 Five, 99% sure I'm right about this. The most important fact, the only reason why this is even a discussion is because in the hypothetical, there's two heads and one body for the conjoined twins. So the issue is, is does it constitute work for both of them? I say yes, because two heads means they're two, you know, they have two separate thoughts. They're two separate people. Even if one of them only has bodily function, right? And they go to work. The other one's still required to be there. So I think almost sure it would be you have to pay both of them and they would be taxes to separate people. Just my thoughts. That's a very, very interesting legal hypo. The people on TikTok are very, very creative. Okay, that's it for today's video. I'm going to start curating more TikToks as well because I think this is fun. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. Make sure you like this video if you find this entertaining. It really helps me out a lot. And always don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it when y'all do that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.